In today's video, I'm gonna show you the top 10 data packs that you desperately need for your vanilla survival world. This will add at least a thousand extra hours worth of content for you to enjoy and just improve your quality of life in vanilla survival. Thank you to everybody for 13,000 subscribers. We're 13% on the way to 100,000 subs. My goal is to make YouTube my full-time job. So if you subscribe today, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for your kindness and your generosity in hitting subscribe because you're helping change my life for the better. Let's get to the show. Nine years ago, I started playing Minecraft in this very world. I thought it'd be common sense if you walked up to a spawner Bruh. that it would drop into a block. If you're anything like me and you wanted to bring it back to your base so you can make a farm, then the mineable spawner data pack is for you. Now that they're in your inventory, you can do whatever you want with them. What I wanted to do nine years ago was prank my friends whenever he came into his house. <laughs> this would have happened. Oh, it would have been so great. Uh, anywho. Which brings us to the Death Coordinates Data Pack. Imagine going on a long adventure and then out of nowhere, you just fall to your death. But at least now you know where your coordinates are. Just try not to fall in lava so you don't lose your stuff. The Custom Nether Portals by Vanilla Tweaks is next. There's actually gonna be about five we're gonna show from Vanilla Tweaks. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, let's look at this one. Beautiful. Beautiful. What about this? Yeah, that's really awesome. Works perfect. Next up is Survival Friendly Spectator. So let's say I wanted to show you guys the behind the scenes of this redstone. All I gotta do is type in slash trigger spectator, and here I am right here. And then I can go through and be able to show you guys the redstone. If you plan on being a Minecraft YouTuber, this is a must have. And if you're a technical Minecraft player, this is also huge because now you can do proper planning and be able to visualize it instead of always having to create a duplicate of your world and uh, doing it all on a creative testing. But now you can kind of do that whenever you want to return. Impressive. Slash trigger spectator. And why is this survival friendly? Well, there's no way of cheating if mobs are nearby because if all of a sudden you want to switch back and it'll be like, oh no. Mm failed there are monsters nearby you can't go into it so yeah you can't use this to get out of bad situations you just gotta take the l more mob heads is another one by vanilla tweaks and it's quite simple this is actually some footage of my let's play series a few years ago and you can collect every mob head in the game including being able to wear it as a face this just gives you so much more to do because now you can create farms and collect mob heads for every mob in the game. It just gives you more things to do in vanilla. To go alongside the mob heads, we now have the Wandering Trades data pack. Beautiful. If you're a fan of Hermitcraft, you're really going to love this because now you can collect their mob heads as well for all the Hermitcrafters. But not only that, you get many blocks to go alongside of certain items that you can have in the game. So for example, if we did this, boom, you get yourself some slime block and now they're little mini blocks. And again, here is some diamond ore as an example. And this is just another fun thing that you can collect in the game. More things you get to collect, the more things you can do in survival. And I'll take iGevin's face. I like that. I like his face a lot. There we go. Boom, baby. The next data pack is great to show you your perimeter and how far you need to light areas up so mobs can't spawn. This is my mob farm. It was a lighthouse back on Minecraft Xbox. And I'm going to use this to demonstrate how this has been so efficient Yep, it's still efficient eight years later. The mob farm is there, and I am right here. So I'm back in survival mode, and all I have to do is click on slash function spawning underscore spheres. You can read the bottom. <laughs> and so it will now create a blue sphere. So let me go ahead and pop back in survival friendly spectator. 
And now you can get a visual of everything that needs to be lit up within this perimeter if you want to have a very functioning farm. And so it goes out all the way over here to 128 blocks. So that means I don't have to worry about lighting up this side of things. All I have to do is just make sure all of this is lit up for mobs not to spawn. And it's very cool as well because it leaves the little perimeter block right here as well for you to come back to to make sure that this is where you're going to AFK at. But whenever you want it to go away, you can do the same command and then you can just click here to remove it. Mobs can be quite loud, especially when you want to use them for an iron farm. And that is why I love this one so very much. The Silence Mobs Data Pack. All you have to do... Type in silence me. And now he is silenced. So now if an actual zombie sneaking up behind you, you'll hear him while this guy remains silent in your farm. And the last data pack, Blaze and Caves Advancements. Guys, there's over 900 additional <laughs> advancements. 95 building milestones, 57 farming, 113 milestones for animals, monster milestones, weaponry, biomes, there's 54 to go visit, adventures. There's so, so, so very much that you can do in this data pack. Ooh, like look at this one. Let there be light. Hold a stack of every light emitting block and item. That's pretty cool. And that's part of the building advancement. So there's just so many crazy things that gives you more content in vanilla Minecraft. Do you have a system on how to organize all thousand items in Minecraft? If you don't, well click this video here and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Please subscribe if you found this helpful and comment down below your favorite data pack because I would love to hear it.